Hey, good evening, friends. This is Luz with Lerith. Welcome, everybody. Tonight, we are going to be designing a beautiful floral theme using this beautiful monogram by um, Dora Shaver. Her page is Wood Ideas by Dora. And so if you get a chance, you can go check her out. She has all sorts of beautiful things there available for you. And so this is the piece that we are going to be designing tonight. This is something that I am designing for my door. And so what I have done with this, hey, Joanne, how are you? Okay, great, Bonnie. Thank you so much. Welcome, guys. Welcome, my friends. So, this is... Okay, so so if you are just jumping on, guys, this is the, this is the piece that we are decorating today. Hey, Frankie. So, this piece, my friends, came from Wood Ideas by Door. And our good friend, Dora Shaver, is the designer. Um... And so she has all sorts of monograms and signs, and she's been releasing so many beautiful creations for Easter, Spring, Valentine's, you name it. Everyday design, so you can find a very good array. Hi, Rita, of um, signs and monograms for your um, needs, okay? So this is something that I'm decorating today for my own door because... Uh, I'm trying to switch <coughs> already for um, from winter to I want to create something for spring. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I have done is this piece already comes with rails. So if you do mesh, obviously these are perfect for that. And I think that when this was designed was probably what it was intended for uh, this kind of pieces. But what I'm trying to do is I'm going to go for a floral design on this uh, piece, okay? And so what I have done is instead of using a regular swab, which you can also do, is I, I am using a piece of foam, a floral foam, that I zip tied, hi Mildred, and to the uh, monogram. And so that's what I'm going to be designing on. So I just cut myself a piece of foam. And I used a zip tie to tie it up on this rail. Okay. And so this is what we're going to be using to create our floral design on. Okay. Hey, Michelle, how are you? So welcome, everybody. So if you're just jumping on, my friends. My name is Luz Evans, okay? So, and I'm going to ask you for a huge favor. If you can uh, please just share my video. So that way we can um, help other people who might be interested in learning floral design. That would be great, okay? So let's share it and see how far we can take it. So I'm going to be using some of these uh, stems that I have. And these I got me locally. And then in addition to these guys, I'm, we're going to be using all sorts of random pieces of greenery. I have some other pieces here. Hey, Oma. And then I have pretty much some leftovers of uh, random flowers. And so I'm going to be using all these pieces to embellish my, um, my monogram. Okay. So now, remember, you can use any kind of flowers that you want, anything that you have on hand, depending on your color selection. Uh, just because I already have this, I just want to be able to use them and create something pretty with them. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do, guys, now that I have already placed my foam here, is I want to start um, layering my greens. And in order for me to do that, I'm going to probably separate some of these pieces. By the way, let me know if you're hearing me okay, okay? Because I am uh, doing a different setup today. And so I want to make sure that, you know, you're hearing me fine, that I'm not too far away. So I'm going to be cutting some of these pieces because some of these are too way too long. 
way, way too big. So I want to be able to make them a little bit smaller. So this one I'm just going to leave as is. And I am going to be using this as is too. So I have those. Then I'm going to cut this a little bit. Hi, Joanne. Oh, Seida, gracias. Muchas gracias, Seida. Ojalá y que me vengas a venir a visitar de nuevo cada vez que esté aquí en vivo. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. So, okay, so I got me some pieces there already. I think I might need another one. So, let's see. I think I'm going to use this other one, too. And then we're going to embellish with uh, additional pieces, okay? But let me start getting these ready, and then we can move on to more. Okay. So I normally, you know that I normally like to keep these because you just never know when you need them. There's been some instances where I have been needing some I used to throw them away all the time, so I would say I would recommend for you to keep them. Sometimes they become very handy. Okay, so I'm going to start placing my grains, my friends. And I think I want to start with these first. Oh, hi, Jenny. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yes, my friends, let me know if you're watching me for the first time. And if you are, let me know where you're watching me, okay? And welcome, welcome. I really hope that you um, find this video useful and you, that you can keep on coming back for a little bit more, okay? Thank you so much. So I'm going to start just placing my greenery here, guys. And I'm going to try not to go, like, too high on this because I don't want to cover the monogram too much, right? So I just want to be able to layer some of the greens start placing more pretty things now I want to make sure that whatever I'm using on one side I'm using on the other one so I can end up with a more symmetric um, design so I have this one I think they're all the same so and then we're gonna do a bow in the center as well and uh, I'm going to show you here in a minute what kind of uh, bows we have, I mean ribbons we have. And you probably watched my video, right, where I opened my box from um, Craft Outlet. And so I'm going to be using some of those ribbons tonight. So let me just fix my little stem, making sure that it's looking good. I like to make sure that I am reshaping this right. Okay. Yes, Nancy. Absolutely. Yes, I love Doris' uh, designs too. She is very creative. And uh, she you can tell that she really puts a lot of time and effort in... Uh, you know, thinking about some of the new designs that she is releasing to all of us. So, we're appreciative for that. So, and we're going to build some more. So, right now I'm just placing my main pieces and then I will um, we'll add some more stuff. So tell me, have you used these rails before? These monograms? I have used some of them in the past and I have always enjoyed working with them. They are very nice. So all I'm doing is I'm trying to layer my greens even though it's kind of like, um, because this is a small piece of foam, I need to pay close attention to where I'm sticking these. 
So normally it's it's amazing how much um, greenery you can use on a small piece of foam. You can use quite a bit. You just gotta pay attention where you're inserting it because you know it's uh, since we're putting quite a few of them. Okay, well there you go, Nancy. I would I would um, I would highly recommend for you to try it. So yes, that's how we learn, right? That's how we learn how to create new things. Awesome stuff, awesome, awesome designs. I need to reshape these things because they need like better shaping. See, they need to be a little bit curlier. I need to open this a little bit more. So tell me, how, how do you like working with your greenery, guys? Do you do okay with your greenery or do you struggle with it? Tell me what kind of pieces you normally look for. See, so I have this one there. And I think I want to use this one down here. So I'm going to try to see if I can insert this on the bottom. Yep. I think it worked out good. Whew. Okay, so see how I have these pieces right here now? Okay. So these are some of them, and then I'm going to start using my other fillers and my flowers and stuff like that. So I think it's going to turn out pretty. See? So that's just the base. Oh, thank you, Becky. Yes, that's what I like so much about greens, guys, because, you know, it's uh, one of the things that I love doing is uh, definitely mixing, mixing different types of greenery always helps because it gives your design so much interest it makes it look richer and more dimensional and you definitely make it look more luxurious right a lot a lot nicer when you add other stuff to it so I'm gonna do and normally I like my designs to be symmetric that means that what I do on one side, I normally do on the other one. Even though they are designs that don't necessarily have to be like that. And they look very nice too. So, um, it's pretty much what you, you know, what you like. What kind of style you like. What kind of things you like adding to your creations. So I'm going to do this one like right here. See? So it's all we're doing is we're adding more to it. Okay? So see how it's starting to fill up those uh, sections, those voids on there? Oh, thank you, Michelle. Actually, actually, Michelle, I'm glad that you're mentioning that because you have some of these. So, my friends, do me a favor. If you like these bushes, you need to go visit my good friend Michelle with uh, Woodland Boutique. She just got some amazing stems like these. And... Um, so you might want to go ahead and check it out. And I think she is about, or maybe maybe you can tell us more about it, Michelle. I think that you just got more, right? More spring greenery. So she, you're going to find definitely uh, bushes like this or stems like this uh, at Woodland Boutique by Michelle. She would be glad to uh, tell you a little bit more about it. So, and she also does lives where she uses them and she shows you 
uh, the pieces that she is featuring. So if you want to go ahead and check out her page and visit her website, I think that you're going to find pretty pieces that you're going to like there. All right, I'm going to leave this here because I want to start doing now some of the flowers. Now, I think that in a minute we're going to be, we're going to start adding our, um, our bow. So, but for now, let me start putting some of these flowers. Hi, Dora. I'm glad that you're visiting, Dora, because look what I'm making. Look, Miss Dora. I'm showing them how to decorate your beautiful rails. Isn't it pretty? This is going to be for my door because I still have some winter stuff. I have a frosty um, snowman on my door, and I want to be able to change already to switch it. So I'm going to be, um, that's why I want to create this one. So in this, hopefully, I'm not going to add like uh, Easter stuff because I want it to last me longer. Um, even though you could customize this to Easter too, you know, you could add some eggs or maybe some Easter ribbon and you could use it for both spring and Easter. And then, um, you know, even even uh, summer, you can also, you know, use it for summer. So I'm going to do, what I'm doing right now is I'm just using several flowers of different colors. And as you are seeing, I'm just kind of layering these flowers too. And so as I was telling you earlier, I just want to be able to create a balanced design. That means that what I'm doing on one side, I'm doing on the other one too, okay? So, hopefully, it will turn out the way I want it. Okay? So, and I'm going to continue to add more things. And I think uh, once I add some of these other flowers, I'm going to go ahead and start putting my, um, my bow, okay? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do my, my bow next. The price, uh, I'm not sure. I didn't see your um, full question, huh? You were asking about a price. I'm not sure the price for what. Of the rail, uh, I don't remember, to be honest. So, Miss Dora, if you are watching me, honey, can you tell us a little bit of what the price is? So, look. See, that's what I'm doing right now, okay? So now let me go ahead. Hey, Lisa, how are you, honey? So now what I'm going to do, guys, at this point, let me do my, my bow, okay? Because I don't want to close this too much because I don't want a bow in here in the center. And I don't want to make it so close that now I'm not going to have room for the bow. So let me show you what I have um, for the, to use for my bow, okay? And um, so you saw me use on pack or open that box that I got from um, from Craft Hour. So what I'm doing is I'm using three different ribbons. All of them are one and a half inches wide, okay? So I'm using, like I said, three. So I am mixing some yellow. Hey Pamela, how are you? Thank you guys for joining me tonight. I appreciate you being here with me. So look, these are the three ribbons that I'm going to be combining. And as you can see, it's kind of Easter, you know, it's a spring, Easter, does not have bunnies or anything like that, but the colors can go for both, right? So this easily would carry me all the way through even summer. 
So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Now, I do want some tails on it. I normally like to add on things that hang on my door. I normally like tails. Unless it's a different kind of design for my wreaths, then I like to use something different. But for this one, I'm going to use uh, three of these with some tails. And so I'm going to use this very first one on top. Hi, Jane. Pretty Jane. <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and I think I want some tails that would be about, I don't want them too long guys, so maybe about 15 inches would be good enough for me. So I'm going to do that and these, um, I want these loops to be at least, I would say about 6 inches, 5 to 6 inches, I would say 6. And let me, let me measure them just to make sure. See, six inches I think is going to be perfect. So I do want this bow to be seen. I don't want them to be smaller than my flowers because my flowers are going out. Um, and they are starting to look pretty long on this side. So I want this, I don't want this bow to get lost, to be, to be buried in there. So... I need to make sure that I'm making these loops big enough to stand up, okay? Oh, Debbie, thank you so much. Well, welcome, welcome. Welcome, guys. Let me know where you're watching, guys. Let me know where you are watching me. Thank you, Valerie. Yes, Valerie. You can go ahead and go to, um, now, Dora's page is uh, kind of, it's not a regular page. She um, does a group. It's obviously a free group. She just manages that because it's easier for her to do it like that. So, but you just go request to join and she will approve you in no time. So, that helps her keep better track of her um orders and stay in uh, closer communication with you that way so feel free to go see her uh yes the the monograms come either natural if you feel like painting you can paint them yourself you just buy them natural or dora can paint them for you so either way you just let her know what you want she does give you both options She absolutely does and she gives you a very good service guys too which is normally something that we look for right every time we we can it's good to have reliable people so she definitely will take good care of you thank you Dora thank you thank you thank you Dahlia, um, the monogram, the letter is from uh, Dora's uh, uh, page, Dora's business. The name of her business is Wood Ideas by Door. You will see the name of the business um, on the description of this video, above this video. You will see the name there. You can just go to her page and ask her to join, okay? And you will see all sorts of beautiful things. Now, you know, for those of us who are familiar with Dora, uh, you know that she makes all sorts of beautiful things. So she doesn't only make the monograms. By the way, she has a very, very broad variety of monograms. But she also offers um, signs for all themes, all seasons, all holidays. So, so yeah, you're going to see a lot of pretty things there. So if you're going to order, you make sure that you place your order quick because she gets pretty busy. Now, and like I said, if you want to get um, this type of greenery, you need to go see Michelle from Woodland Boutique. 
and she will hook you up with some of these stems right here. She carries some of these. Okay, and so this is my bow right here, guys. It's simple, okay? It's not a very fancy, complicated bow. See how cute it is? But what is pre so beautiful is the different patterns and the color. And you know what I was telling you that I love ribbons like this because look at how well they keep the shape. See? This is beautiful. So you um, definitely, definitely want to get some of these. Now I am looking forward to getting my box also that I got from, that I'm getting from Christina. She also has a page. She designs wreaths, but she also sells a uh, ribbon. And she has some pretty, very pretty uh, designs too. So when I get my box, I will um, let you know. I will, I will open it so you can see it. Now I did not get a lot because I couldn't stay for the whole sale video that she was doing. So I had to leave, but I got me some good ones. And uh, I will be glad to show you when they get here. Okay, so I'm going to cut this a little bit. And so I'm going to use a little bit of glue on here. And then I'm going to place it on my beautiful swag. Not swag, but my design here. There you go. And now I'm going to make sure that I fix my bow. Make sure that you open your loops. And I normally like to wave my tail, so I'm going to do that. And the easiest way to do that, guys, is you just run your fingers through it. And the more you do it, the curlier it's going to get. You know, you're going to start seeing that it's going to start taking, you know, it's going to start curling up. And so that's what you want. Now, obviously, if you want to make a curl, you know, like, curl them up totally, uh, you can do that too, or at least some of them if you feel more comfortable with doing it that way. You can absolutely do that. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what it looks like, okay, after I have done my bow. So this is what it looks like. You see? Now, what I want to do is I want to take it one step further, and I'm going to do some other smaller pieces of some, um, oh, <laughs> Joanne, great. Thank you, Joanne, for joining us. Other uh, shades of yellow and purple. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I have some other ones here. These are com what we know as fillers, right? Because they're smaller pieces, just highlights of colors, just exactly to do that like um feed the voids right so i'm gonna cut some of these because i don't want them too long thank you thank you delia so and i'm gonna start adding some here so and we add them just like in different sections sections so we can start seeing some splashes of color And they don't have to be like very big pieces because like I said, this is just to highlight some of the color that we are displaying here in the ribbon. Okay. And to give it that uh, happy, very 
harmonious look bright of spring you know where everything is so colorful and green and happy and all that stuff so i'm gonna i did some yellow now i'm gonna add some purple because you know my monogram is purple so i want to add some of that in addition to these two small flowers that i have there so i just want some highlights of that color The monogram, I think, Dora, can you help me with that? I think the monogram is maybe 21 inches, and I'll measure it for you. But Dora, Dora knows for sure because it's, uh, she's the expert on this. But these are just absolutely beautiful, my friends. So if you get a chance, if you would like to design something like this, um, I definitely encourage you to go get you some. These are beautiful. Very pretty. They're fun to work with too. Very fun to work with. Very, very fun to work with. And easy. You see how easy, how simple they, they are to work with too? very easy and what I think this does guys it's um uh, as you can see it you can work in it in any um any style you can do your mesh or you can do floral too it's blurry are you seeing me blurry guys So it's pretty much any style. You can do both styles. It said this is an E for my last name, Evans. But you know she has all sorts of monograms there. You just and uh, one good thing about Dora too, guys. Um, I cannot tell you how many door, how many times Dora, how many times Dora has saved me because she can customize something for you too. Because you know, we all have some customers sometimes that they want something very specific. And uh, those are kind of, that is kind of hard to for us to accommodate sometimes, right? But um, not with Dora, I mean, she has done some very good job for me. And um, and to be honest, guys, it's like, I've been, I've been, I've been very surprised and blessed that she has, um, that I've known her because, uh, she goes the extra mile for you. So I, I really appreciate that. That is awesome. She definitely customizes things for you too. You know? So that's always good. All right. So let me show you this. See how pretty this is? Now, because I have this foam here, all I want to do is probably do maybe either another flower or a combination of more greenery in here with a flower, so let me see if I can fit that in there. Nothing big, just because I don't want to cover the letter, just something to cover that little part up. And so let me see what I can put in there. I have some small pieces here, so I should not have a problem with being able to cover some of that. Like this piece right here. Thank you, Dolores. Thank you so much. See, just something right there. And I'm going to see if I can do a tiny little flower in there. Maybe this. That would be too much. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Just that and maybe with a little bit of the yellow in there. Maybe that's what I need this one just to bring it up there and um, this is this is kind of like a delicate uh, design guys but remember that you can do pretty much anything you want so if you want something more substantial if you want something bigger if you want something to go um, 
to go like uh, on the sides more far out or anything like that you can definitely do that so this is just an example of the something that you can do but you can do definitely get more creative with it okay so and that's what the design would look like now um, what I normally like to do also is you can also do a bow on top on here so you do another bow here and then you just hang it on your on your door so I'm gonna go ahead and do a small bow okay simple I don't want it to be competing with that I just want it to enhance it right so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna I drop them so I need to go get them So what I'm going to do is, in this bow, I don't want it to have tails, obviously, because I don't want nothing to be hanging covering that letter. So I'm just going to make me a small bow. And this would be, I don't want anything big, so probably about maybe four inches, four to five inches on the loops. And so that will dress up the top a little bit more. And I will hang it here in just a minute, okay? Just for you to see. This one on top is just, like I said, to complete the design. Nothing too fancy. But beautiful steel, right? Okay, so I'm going to tie this up okay see how pretty this ribbon works looks it just keeps the shape so nicely so nicely very nice and on this one we are gonna trim our tails we're gonna do a duck tail finish And once I put it up, I'll see if I need to cut it a little bit more or not. Let's see. Olga, my ribbons that I'm using today, right now, they came from Craft Outlet. You can go check them out. They have beautiful selection too. Okay, so now let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Because I'm gonna need this room so I can work with my um, hanger. Okay, and I want this to be right here. So this is my, um, the hanger. Now guys, this, I use this because, you know, that's what I had handy. And, but if you don't want something, a rope like this, you can use the same, um, the same ribbon, okay, to hang it as the hanger, okay? So that would be up to you. You can use all sorts of things for that. 
You can use wire too if you wish to do that. So I am going to tie this up right here. I'm going to cut the excess. Okay, and I am going to try to fix it once again so it can look nicer when I hang it, right? Like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hang it now. So I'm going to remove this other beautiful creation that I made too. Isn't this cute too? It's pretty, huh? Yes, I've heard that. I've heard that, Frankie. I have heard that. So there you have it guys. That's what it looks like. Let me go ahead and bring the camera up so you can see it better. <clears throat> can you see it better? And so that's what the that's what the hanger looks like. So you can make this, you know, again, you can redo them if you want. You can fix your tails again so you can get a better curling effect on them. And there you have it. That's what it looks like. And so that's it. Oh, thank you, Dolores. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's very pretty. I think that, um, like I said, it's uh, the options are, you know, just up to you. You will have different ways of going about designing. Um, oh, th <laughs> thank you so much, guys. You're so sweet. But yeah, look. See how pretty they are? And so you have your bow. And the back looks very uh, clean as well. So see, you don't have to deal with so much. So you don't really need, you don't have a lot of cleaning to do either. And it just stays there. And this is very easy to remove. So whenever you are ready to just totally change that design, you can clip this off and you move on to the next one. You don't have to pretty much glue anything to it or do a lot of the other attachments that you would normally do. So that would really, you know, it's easy, easy to work with. It's really not that um, difficult, guys. All right. Well, I hope that you liked it, that you find, found it useful, and that you got inspired, and that you decide to give this a try. Like I said, this is just for my uh, door, and um, I am transitioning right now from, like I said, winter to spring, and I think I have... I have already a design for uh, Valentine's, so I'm just going to display that on Valentine's Day. But, um, but yeah, this would be my design for spring, from spring to summer. Um, and then I need to make me one for, for Easter. Or maybe I can just come back to this and you can add things to it. You can add eggs or, you know, some of the little 
legs, the bunny legs, you can add some of those in here. So you can definitely make it work. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I'm, I'm glad that you liked it. I'm glad that you liked it. So yeah, I'm very happy with it too. I'm very pleased with it. I think that my door is going to look good. <laughs> I can finally toss uh, Mr. Frosty. I can put Mr. Frosty away and make room for my pretty and colorful flowers now. I think we're ready, right? We're ready for spring. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It was awesome, as always, spending time with you. And I really hope that you enjoyed tonight's video. And I will see you again very soon. You have a blessed night. Oh, you, it is too? <laughs> Thank you, Morenita. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Be blessed. And don't forget to go and uh, check out Dora's page, Wood Ideas by Dora. And my good friend Michelle also for the greenery, Woodland Boutique. And she will help you out with uh, the good selection that she's got there. All right, guys. Good night. Rest well, be blessed, and see you soon again. Bye-bye.